The UK doesn't manufacture as much as it used to. What was once a bustling manufacturing economy now has less than 10% of its GDP attributed to manufacturing. But advances in small modular reactor technology offers opportunity to transform energy grids around the world. And Rolls-Royce's work in this field offers the UK an opportunity to use this to their advantage. With an estimated market of $18.8 billion by 2030, could SMRs be the key to help bring some manufacturing back to the shores of Britain? Catch up with France's intellectual property advantage when it comes to all things nuclear, and secure the nation's energy supply with low-cost domestic electricity. If you want to see more content on energy, geopolitics and our world, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be alerted to future uploads. Small modular reactors, in principle, are very promising. At its core, an SMR works in the same way as a larger nuclear reactor, using uranium dioxide as the fuel source to create carbon-free baseload power, but without many of the negatives associated with larger nuclear power stations. SMRs are factory-built mini-nuclear reactors that can be shipped to site and set up in a matter of two to three years far less than larger plants which can take decades to build. With standardised designs and the majority of the manufacturing process taking place in the factory itself, SMRs will be easier to scale up and cost far less to produce than traditional reactors. These lower upfront costs make nuclear power a reality for many nations where the idea of spending tens of billions of dollars on a plant that won't make electricity for over a decade is simply not an option. SMRs can also go several decades without the need for refueling. Whilst traditional reactors need to be refueled every 12 to 24 months, where the reactor needs to be temporarily shut down for this process. SMRs are also considered safer than larger reactors, where the smaller core is less likely to overheat. Often called meltdown proof, as the passive, often water coolant system can function without an external power source or operator to do so. This avoids situations where power plants face a meltdown risk if they are cut off from the electrical grid, which we have seen several times in Ukraine at the Zaforizhia plant. The lower volume of water needed in SMRs also allows them to be built in more remote areas, which larger plants don't have the luxury of. While small modular reactors sound like an answer to our energy needs, they could be but the technology is not quite at the stage where it's ready to be implemented at a large scale. Currently, there are only two operational SMRs in the world, one in Russia and a more powerful 210 megawatt two module unit in China. But neither of these are commercially available. Altogether, there are over 50 SMR designs and concepts worldwide, but the IEA lists only 13 as having near-term milestones and therefore potential real-world applications. Of these 13 designs, the Rolls-Royce's UK SMR is not just the most powerful at an estimated 470 megawatt capacity, but it is in one of the more advanced stages with regulatory approval expected in 2024. A single reactor Rolls-Royce power station is expected to take up no more than two full-sized football pitches and be able to power one million homes as well as enabling other industrial processes such as green hydrogen production. This level of electricity capacity is comparable to 150 onshore wind turbines which would take up over 2,000 times more space. Not to mention that the UK SMR will produce constant electricity for 60 years. At a targeted cost of £1.8 billion per reactor for a capacity of 470 megawatts of electricity, the UK SMR model offers a far better return on investment compared to larger nuclear power stations, which do produce 1 to 2,000 megawatts per reactor, but can cost in the tens of millions to build. A feasibility study carried out by the National Nuclear Laboratory concluded that by 2035, the market for SMRs within the UK could reach 7,000 megawatts of power, representing just under 10% of the nation's current generation capacity. This is power that doesn't rely on foreign commodities or engineering to produce and could significantly lower electricity prices for the consumer. 
This domestic aspect of the product is a core focus of Rolls-Royce's vision, who state that 80% of materials and components needed to build each reactor will be sourced from UK supply chains, supporting other British industries but also limiting the chances of global supply chain bottlenecks from delaying production of the reactors. But applications for this SMR go much further than just domestic use, with countries like Estonia, Turkey and the Czech Republic all having signed statements of intent to purchase these SMRs when available. Altogether, this program is forecasted to create 40,000 jobs within the UK and generate £52 billion in economic benefits. Skilled jobs the project would create are not just limited to manufacturing of the SMRs in the UK factories themselves, but include creating an expert workforce to commission and install these reactors. With aim to export these SMRs by the end of the decade, Rolls-Royce and the UK could have the first mover advantage with SMRs in which their product and skilled workforce would be highly desirable internationally. That's why this project is a great opportunity for the UK to develop its own expertise when it comes to nuclear power. Historically, France has held the intellectual property when it comes to nuclear power with the UK failing to invest adequately in this sector. EDF, the nationally owned French energy company, operates all five nuclear power stations within the UK, leads decommissioning of the country's older reactors, and is the majority owner of Hinkley Point C, the UK's newest nuclear power station, expected to be completed in 2028. Rolls-Royce's UK SMR could be an opportunity to change this. Whilst market share for SMRs is not yet globally significant, this technology has the opportunity to grow rapidly and shape the future of energy grids worldwide. Whilst many other countries and companies are designing their own SMRs, Rolls-Royce's product is one of the more promising options, giving the UK a huge advantage to take market share in this sector. The UK government has already committed £210 million to Rolls-Royce for this SMR project. And if successful and implemented within the UK, these Rolls-Royce SMRs could significantly improve domestic energy security, whilst creating thousands of jobs and a highly desirable product to export internationally. Thank you for watching Olive Stripe Productions. If you enjoyed this video and want to see future videos on a wide range of topics covering energy, geopolitics and our world, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to be alerted of future videos.